Do you have a hanging idol? Or do you have an idol that's slow to come down after you snap the throttle open? Maybe your engine bogs when you snap the throttle open and you're looking to accelerate and uh, the engine just goes bogs on you. If the pickup at idle is hesitant or erratic or slow or um, just doesn't happen, two of the major components that govern this is the diaphragms and the slide and they work together. Uh, it's quite critical. Uh, this is an easy test that you can do to make sure that your diaphragms and slides are working as they should um, and hopefully should bring back um, a good uh, pickup off of uh, throttle pickup off of idle. So the easy test to do is simply to lift the slide with your finger. Don't use any metal tool or anything. You don't want to scratch them. And so they're just slightly out of sight, just above the top of the venturi there. And then put your thumb over the vent at the top there. I'm just dampening your, your thumb a little bit so you've got a good seal. And then let go of the slide. And just time how long it takes to come down. As you can see, mine's nice and slow. Uh, and it generally takes around 15 to 18 seconds and you really need to have at least 15 seconds there before it comes right the way down. It's not down yet, that's it, it's there now. If it's any less than that then you really need to be looking at why and it's quite possible that you've got a, a leak somewhere on the diaphragm. So there's a slight bit of air getting in somewhere around the edge of the diaphragm or possibly your spring is weakened, um, the return spring Perhaps you might need to measure that and make sure that it's still up to spec. Um, obviously, if it takes a long time to come down, then the chances are that um, your slide is actually sticking and there's something that's re resisting it, some friction or, or it's dragging somewhere, or maybe your needle is dirty, or perhaps even the uh, atomizer uh, jet underneath, the needle jet here, is uh, got some residue or crud in it that's stopping your slide coming down. But you really do need to have a nice smooth motion on the slide. So if you lift it up and drop it, and you can hear that click when it gets to the bottom, that's the kind of rate you want, ideally. Like that. If you don't hear a nice click at the bottom, and it's a bit sluggish, then you've definitely got something binding and you need to take that out, strip it off, uh, and clean the slides very carefully and uh, the needle obviously in the atomizer jet and make sure that it is not getting binding anywhere. Now the other thing you need to do is to make sure they're both equal obviously because if they're not equal um, your two cylinders will be fighting each other, they'll be antagonistic um, and the engine will be fighting it itself and uh, so they both want to perform in exactly the same way which these do. I've now cleaned them thoroughly and again hold that up and check that that also takes around 15-20 seconds to come down, which it does. Make sure that it comes all the way down. Yeah, that's there. Excellent. So obviously they are perfect, they are exactly as they need to be. And I shouldn't get any problems with uh, the throttle pickup snapping the throttle open or flipping the throttle that should be nice and instant now. Um, if the slides go up too quickly and they come down too quickly um, then you're going to get too much airflow and the, the mixture is going to get weak when you snap the throttle open and a weak mixture obviously will, will cause the engine to bog um, and that's the last thing you want is, uh, is uh, that. So hopefully that will help a little bit. Uh, but it is an easy test. I haven't even got all the screws on the top here. Look, I've only got two in to hold the top. And that's sealing really well. But I'm just going to take this off. Just show a couple of things here. To watch. Last time I did this, it flew off in the other side of the room with the spring. If it doesn't loosen up, just give it a tap. There we go. Alright, the other thing to watch is if this is not sealing properly, you want to put it on some very, very fine wet and dry. Something like P500 uh, or something, 600, something like that. This is 600. Uh, the best way to do it is to um, glue it to a 
a flat surface like MDF. MDF is an ideal surface, it's very true. Uh, use some um, spray adhesive, that's quite easy to get hold of. Put that onto MDF and then just make sure that that is nice and smooth all around. And if there are any dull spots, that's where you've got uh, a potential leak. And as you can see, that's shiny all the way around. I've already done that. And the other thing I do, if I still have a leak, is I use a little Vaseline. And this works very well. Just a little bit of Vaseline around the edge. Just a smear. You don't want a lot. You don't want to get it anywhere near the slide or anything else. All the way around the edge. It will also help seal. And the other thing you, you need to watch, obviously, is that this is correctly seated all the way around. Let's just take that out for a moment. You be careful with this. And again, the other thing you need to make sure of is that the needle is nice and clean. You can usually feel with your fingernail whether there's any residue or crud at the top there uh, where it's likely to bind. And it's spotlessly clean all around, and there are no sort of drag marks anywhere on the slide indicating it's sticking anywhere. The areas that the diaphragm are likely to leak from will be around the seal here on the slide itself and obviously around the edge where it sits in that gutter there and is clamped by the lid. So there are two main areas where you're going to get leaks but of course you could have very, very small pinprick holes which will be difficult to find but with that test of lifting the slide and letting it fall that will show up if you've got any slight leaks anywhere. Uh, which way around does this go? There's a little indentation here to tell you which way around it goes. That's important, obviously. This has to go facing the front of the inlet, otherwise, it won't function properly. That's critical. There we go. Make sure it's in all the way around. Spring. Make sure that there's nothing on the surfaces there. And again, that lines up. Just slide it around a bit to make sure you get a good seal there. And that should be enough. And that's all there is to it, really. It's just a simple part of yearly maintenance on your calves when you clean them, strip them and clean them. But it's an easy test to do when they're on the bike itself. Just remove the pod filters or air filters, whatever you've got. And you can do that test very easily to check that your slides and diaphragms are working okay and there's no air leaks there. So, well, hopefully that should help somebody.